Good morning, my ever-loving floggers. Sleeping is really weird. You go unconscious for about six hours. The dream man comes and gives you funny dreams. I had a dream about Zay Frank last night. I tried to get his autograph real sneaky-like. Hey, do you happen to have a piece of paper and a pen or something? Oh, cool. Could you, uh, could you write your name on it? I'm never going to eat Skittles before I go to sleep again. Anyways, I have to go to a museum today. Going to a museum is kind of like dating. There's a lot out there, but the chances are that you might not know anything about them at first. Some are really pretty, some are really ugly, some are classy and expensive, some have terrible customer service, and they all have different art inside of them. One museum might freak you out, but the other might really appeal to you. So you need to get yourself to that museum. Some are kind of difficult to find, hidden, out of sight, and others are in plain view for everyone to see and admire. Some have complicated interiors and passages, and others are fairly straightforward. A good way to figure out a little bit about them is to ask around. If more people know about a museum, this is either a good thing or a bad thing. It could be famous or infamous. Chances are, though, that the more members a given museum has, the better museum they are, and the higher the chances that this analogy just completely fell apart. Intellectual sophistication, my ass. So, uh, guys, I know that we have 12 subscribers already. <coughs> Excuse me. So. For today's video, I am going to try and speak a little bit more deeply because I feel that this show needs a little bit more sexy tenor style. Or is that baritone? I'm not really sure. They tell me I'm a tenor, but... So in kind of a self-response to that night video about the cyber music defeating the evil genius babies, I've realized that in order to fully capitalize on our chance with the new technological wave to defeat the evil genius babies, we need to become complete cyborgs. Or at least get a mechanical enhancement of some sort. Or electronics. Electronics work too. I think we should all start by getting robotic arms. However, there are some things you need to know about getting a robotic arm. See, when I built this arm, I didn't know too much about robotics. However, I quickly did, and I know a lot of you think it's really cool to have a completely metal arm, but it's not that cool. See, when you go out into really cold weather, or even moderately windy weather, your robotic arm is going to get the chills, and it will send chills all through your regular man flesh. On the other hand, you can't really go into very hot weather either. If you do, the metal will start to sear your flesh. Sooner or later, trust me, it will. Now, if you intend to fully complete the transformation to cyborg metallic being, then that's not so much of a problem. The only problem would be maintenance and repairs and such like that. So, if you're planning to get a robotic something, make sure to opt for the more hardened, refined plastic options, but stay out of deserts because then it will melt. However, it can't freeze very well, so you're okay in colder environments. Just make sure that you have some kind of internal heating system to keep your robotic arm nice and toasty. Though the best option just seems to be to completely make the transformation transformation to full metal. It's really the easiest way for all of us. We must not let this new generation of creatively inspired genius babies take over. Remember, we're too important. Anyways, a few days ago I took a vow to be as awesome as I possibly can. Not to become as awesome as I possibly can, but to be awesome. It's very zen. I guess you could call it a zen awesomeness. For reasons I care not to divulge here, I cannot become an intern of the League of Awesomeness. So I've decided to diverge and create my own branch of being awesome. And I think they're going to let me do this. They won't bother us. We won't bother them or talk about them. And we'll just be okay. However, I want you to be awesome too. And you might be wondering, well, how do I be awesome? It's a very ambiguous term. I think awesome has a pretty general definition that we all can agree on. Wake up every morning and ask yourself the question, how can I be more awesome today? Or what can I do that's awesome today? This is really important though, so let's get started right away. A friend of mine named Cesar Mendoza already has a fan page, but the thing is he didn't make it and it already has 30 fans. I think that's pretty awesome. So here's your mission. Find a close friend, family member, or loved one, and make them a fan page. Don't put any photos up or any information you don't think they would want up, but make them a fan page. Make sure that their name is in all caps and is the title of said fan page. And invite all friends who you think know the person or would be interested in being a fan. And then report back here and let me know how it went. Comments or a video response are both fine. Oh, by the way, bonus points if you get the person to fan themselves without inviting them. Good luck, floggers. I'm Wei, and I'm going to go eat something.